So this is my uh, Devil May Cry review. This is Devil May Cry review. So I have the HD collection, of course. They do have one and two and three games into one. So this is HD collection. This is Devil May Cry HD, which I actually have still to this day. I always have trouble playing three because three never screw me over. Is this that three was not repetitive? Of course, I played on normal. Normal is really hard. So, I play Asante. It was also funny, I haven't finished one. One is the hardest one to finish because you gotta collect your orbs and stuff and go back around. But, yeah. Most, I did a live stream a week ago and uh, it did not work well because of the broadcast network sucks so bad. I, maybe Saturday I can do the broadcasting again because it's really easy for me to do on Saturdays. Alright, so I'm getting off topic here, but this is a G collection that has 1, 2, and 3. Remastered in high definition, which is good because it's good, but some of the texture in the game are not remastered, so it's disappointing to me. This is Don't Make Cry 4. This is a good game because I can't believe when when it came out, I saw the trailer, I'm like, this is cool. The trailer is good for Don't Make Cry 4, but... The original trailer for 4 has Dante smacking the camera and then whoosh, it's a Devil May Cry 4. And so, I bought the HD collection because I wanted to play, I told my grandma I wish one day I could play 1, one and 2 and 3 of Devil May Cry games, which I wish, but when they got the HD collection I was happy, so I got the game. Me and my dad went to games house, so it was, it was a year ago that I got the HD collection. It's for a good game. Actually, 4 is good, but I feel like the ending was lacking too. It's not lacking ending, but the ending for 4, it's tough. Um, Neil, Steve's girlfriend, Katie, 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 he loves her a lot, so that means Neil loves Katie a lot. <clears throat> of course, his father's Virgil. Spoilers, actually spoiled that. So, how did he do with DMC? Ninja Theory. There's also Capcom published this game too, as you can see, Capcom's the only one that published it. I don't hate Ninja Theory. They did a good job, and I think they did, and they deserve credits. They do deserve credit because I'm gonna. They deserve credit. They also were responsible for doing Heavily Sword, which is their game. They also helped out with other games, like. They also worked on the Disney fighting. Not the fighting game, the Marvel fighting game. Sorry, Marvel fighting game with Disney. Whatever. Sorry about that, but I'm making nonsense. So. DMC is a good game by Ninja Theory. It's just that people get so much shit about Dante. They hate Dante in this one. All because he curses and I don't really care. It's a game. It's a good game by Ninja Theory so far. It's so good. It's a 17 mature, which is plus, 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 plus. You can see the 17 mature in the Devil May Cry ratings because there are ratings. I think this is the first Devil May Cry 4 game that's actually exclusive to PS3, which is because. I like Devil May Cry. <coughs> Sorry about that, my throat's bothering me. I like 4 and I like the HD collection. 3 of these games are one of my favorites because I will never hate DMC. I think that trailer was badass when Dante beat the shell out of monsters. It was a fucking cool game. Excuse my language because there are going to be a lot of curse words. So, Dante's badass. He is. He's a really badass character. Of course, he swears in the game. <coughs> A lot of people hated the new Dante. It's understandable why, because his black hair, he has black hair type of thing, so <coughs> he has black hair and everything, and then you new know, one, so of course by the end it turns white, so bye guys, this is Jesse JoJo's Bio, JoJo's Adventure Review, signing off.